It's Elite Eight action for many area high school teams. Pleasant Plains looking to punch their ticket to the state tournament. This is Monticello's first time to the Super Sectional. We start bottom of the second, cards up 4-0. Johnny Steinwart hits one to short. He would go out, but a run would come on in to score, making it 5-0 playing. Same inning, Alex Edwards lines one to left field. Two runs would come on in to score. Pleasant Plains would move on to the state tournament, 7-0 the final. 1A Baseball Super Sectional, Argenta Oriana Ridgewood. Tied 1-1, bottom six for Jeff Parker. He lines one into left center, and that would score one. Argenta goes up 2-1. Two to one. It's now 4-1 later in the inning. Gage Eller hits it off the wall, and then two more runs would come on, it making it 6-1. to one. Now Kentucky-bound Keegan McHood on the hill, and he shuts the door from there. The Bombers are heading to Peoria. They beat Ridgewood 6-1. We just uh, stuck together. I mean, defense played great. Our hitting came along there toward the end. We just stepped up when it mattered. I read in a newspaper last week that a, a girl softball player in another state was trying to explain what it felt like. And she said, you know, that first time that that fat kid gets to eat chocolate, that's what this feels like. It's just a wonderful experience, and, and I'm so happy for, for our kids and their parents and our community. About softball, Monticello and Dupo 1A super sectional at U of I. Top of two, Dupo leads 1-0. Megan Brown shuts the door. Dupo leads 1-0. Top of three, Sage is threatening. Sam Valentine drops one in front of the box, but she's thrown out at first, and again, nothing. It would take until the top of the seventh, and that's when Chrissy Gadbury cranked out a two-run homer. Monticello wins the super sectional 2-1. Over to GCS Park in the 2A Boys Super Sectional. Two Topolis falls to Freeburg, Freeburg, three to one. We are now in Elite Eight for girls soccer. The Glenwood Titans are making their way to their third straight trip to states. The Titans are entering the Super Sectional off of a 4-3 victory over Troy Triad in OT. This is their third straight trip to the Elite Eight, like I said. They faced Peoria Notre Dame. Last time these two teams met, it ended in a tie. We're still nervous, definitely, because we're a new team and um, anything can happen in postseason, but I think the experience in the past will help us a lot. We're the defending state champs, and I mean, I have all the faith in my team. I mean, those are my girls, it's my family. I, I think we can do it. Kickoff is set for tomorrow at 7 p.m. in Morton.